There are moments in American history that divide our story into a clear before and after. From Lexington and Concord to Pearl Harbor, those moments are most often defined by conflict. But in 1967, it was defined by a lack of sexual inhibition, a steady supply of hallucinogenic drugs, and a new thing called acid rock. That June, the tidal wave of humanity packed San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury district for what came to be known as the Summer of Love. It was the watershed moment for a movement that had been slowly building, fueled by mainstream press attention at events like the Human Bean at Golden Gate Park, and timed perfectly to the end of the university school year. The nation was at a turning point. Events in places like Watts, Dallas, and Vietnam were unfolding. The baby boom was over, and it seemed like everyone had long hair. As spring semesters came to a close around the nation, young people couldn't wait to follow Tim Leary's advice to turn on, tune in, and drop out. They made their way to San Francisco any way they could, hopping a train, piling into the VW bus, or by sticking out their thumb. Some estimates have as many as 75,000 flower children descending on the Bay Area that summer. In San Francisco, a flower child is like a peace lover, happiness, you know, go to Lovins and Beans, and I want to hear Ginsburg. Just a year before, Life magazine told the world about the joys of LSD. It's very difficult today to pick up a newspaper or a magazine or listen to the radio without hearing about LSD. A few months later, California outlawed the stuff. But LSD was a big presence during that summer, as the sounds of the Grateful Dead wafted in the air. By the end of the summer, the drug scene had turned to speed. Crime and hygiene problems in the neighborhood had some of Haight-Ashbury's own neighbors staging a death to the hippie ceremony. Many predict that there'll be no beautiful summer for the hippies of San Francisco, that the dreamy bohemia of Haight-Ashbury will be destroyed like the beat generation of the 50s by thrill seekers, tourists, and commercial exploiters. The psychedelic love generation of the 60s may find that it takes more than new words and new drugs to conquer the old order. Still, the impact of that summer would be felt as Monterey and Woodstock became musical milestones. The environmentalist movement gathered steam and tie-dyed fashion seemed to last forever. These days, the image of a group of hippies dancing in Golden Gate Park is an ingrained part of the American mystique.